你好，大家，我是陈凤北，影子工艺，才会科技大学。So today I'm gonna introduce about the the function set in Python. So what is set? A set is an unordered collection of unique elements. Otherwise, we can refer a set to the set in mathematics. 它就是数学的几何课。First, we will learn how to declare a set using the function set. So, example, a will go to set, a Python set will give us this set. So this set will contain a h e y o blah 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 blah. blah. Only one thing to notice that we have one t here in Python and one t here in set, but the result only one t, only one. Because as we seen here, a set is a normal collection of unique elements. That means they will have no multiple occurrence of the same element. We'll continue to the second example. We still use the function set, but here we use a list as an argument of the set function. You can see here a list it will have this and this. We also notice that we have one this and two this. But it turns out that B contains only one this. Function set only allows allows at most one argument. That is, you cannot write, for example, a equal to set. Um, for example, B, C. Python will concern that you use two arguments. One is this, and two is this. So it will give you an error. And the reason why we can use uh, many elements here because this is a list, because a list is also an argument. Uh, the second method is declaring a set using notation braces. A special point here is uh, when we use braces, it will turns out to be a string, but when we use the function set, it turns out to be uh, individual characters. We will figure how to use basic operations of the function set. The first operation of the function set is add. This this operation it add one element to a set. For example, a you go to a b. That means a contains character a and character b. And when we call the method add, the set a will now contain a b c. Okay. The next operation is intersection. It returns the intersection of two sets. So what it means by saying it returns the intersection of two sets? Uh, I will draw it here. This is the set A. This is the set B. So the intersection of two set it will be here. So generally, it will the result is this blue line. Uh, for example, x equal to a b c, y equal to c d e. So when we when we call the method uh, intersection for the set x y, the opposite is c. We can alternatively use uh, the notation and this is more convenient. So x equal to a b c, y equal to c d e. Print x and y. Also the same result c. Move on. Union returns the union of two set. Really quick uh, drawing. Set A, set B. So what is the union of two set? Union of two set is everything. So also B A is like everything. So for example, A is equal to A B C Y C D E. So the union of X and Y will be A B C D E. We also can use the notation. I don't know how to call this notation. It's this, this, this notation. Also the same result. The semantic difference. Uh, so it seems uh, very strange. So I will, I will again draw it for you guys to understand. It returns a set containing every different elements of two sets. What does it mean? Uh, for example, we have set uh, A and set B again. So it returns a set containing every different element of two sets. Every different element of two sets. So this is the this is like every different element of two sets. 
So it's just like uh, the union of INB but not the intersection of INB like this. Okay, example. This is how it writes x equal to y equal to a b c c d and symmetric difference y. The output is a b d and e. A b d e because c is the the intersection of the set x and the set y, so it will not include in the output. Um, an alter alternative method is using the notation. Also, the same result. The operation difference difference returns a set containing elements in a set, but not in the other one. Uh, let me write this, this. Here we have set x, and then sets y. Return a set containing elements in a set, but not in the other one. What does it mean? Like uh, so, this operation will return this x. It will return this section. Uh, so when we print x difference y, we'll have a b, but not c because c is a intersection of x and y. Otherwise, we can use the notation minus. So x y x minus y will to a b. Set operations table. So operation length number of elements x in s. I will just quickly quickly show this with you guys to have a first first glance. Yeah. So it's like this. <laughs> 